Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be doing like a pack with me video. A lot of you guys are requesting this because I'm going on my trip soon. I'm actually leaving tomorrow. I'm coming back the 21st. A lot of you have been asking me if I'm going to be vlogging my trip like I did last time and the answer is yes. So I'm going to be vlogging it the whole time. You guys love the vlogs. You think they're hilarious. This is the bag I use. I'm so excited to use this bag because I got this for Christmas from my sister and I love it. I have everything out here. We're leaving tomorrow and I feel like I'm forgetting something. So if I forget something or if I add something, I'll put it like in a little annotation. It's empty right now. I'm gonna fill it with you guys, hence this video pack with me. So I'm gonna do clothes first because um, clothes is actually kind of funny for me when I pack on vacation because I'll pack and be like, yes, this for this outfit, you know, this for this outfit, and I'm good. But the day of the vacation, so tomorrow, I always, always the day of the vacation be like, oh my God, I should pack another pair of leggings and this tank top and this and this and this. And I end up packing like five more clothing items than I need. So this is what I'm packing right now, but probably tomorrow I'm gonna be throwing in things like frantically like I always do. Shirts, I have just a black tank top, a really cute tank top that I think I'm going to wear for the mall because it's really flowy and cute. A plain flowy shirt, and this zebra top. I'm bringing two skirts, this really cute bandage skirt, and this tangerine colored skirt. Two pairs of shorts because it is going to be very hot there, so I'm really excited. Um, and if it's not hot, well then I packed the wrong stuff, but that's okay. Um, I'm wearing these shorts. And these shorts, which are my favorite. I also packed a dress that looks like this. One pair of socks. The reason why I'm only bringing one pair of socks is because I'm going to be wearing sandals most of the time. So I'm not going to be needing socks. And if I do happen to need socks, I mean, we're going there to shop. I can just buy socks. For shoes, I'm bringing these boots. I don't know if I'm going to wear them because, like I said, it's going to be very hot. They're just from Valley Village. Oh, they're one of my most comfiest. And my holy grail shuls, my holy grail shuls are these. I love these so much. These are Chinese laundry. They're a bit dirty. I'm gonna clean them before we go. Um, but I love these so much. These are perfect for walking in because they're very, very flat. They only have like the tiniest, tiniest heel right here. These are gonna be my shopping shoes, which we're gonna be doing a lot of. And I wear these all, all the time in spring and summer when I'm shopping, so I know that they're comfy. It's good to pack ahead for your footwear and know what your comfy shoes are, especially if you're gonna be going on long walks or whatever you're gonna be doing. Plan your footwear because you don't wanna get sores on your feet or anything like that. I brought some underwears. Bathing suits! Um, we're gonna be swimming pretty well every night because my mom, my sister, and I all are really, really into exercising and being healthy. So um, there is an exercise room in our hotel. I don't know if we're gonna use it. I hope we don't because we're on vacation. But the pool is a very good way of exercising. It exercises your whole body, gets your body in motion. So we're gonna be swimming every single night um, and going in the hot tub also for relaxation. I always, always mix and match my bathing suits, so I brought two tops and two bottoms because we're gonna be swimming every night. I don't want um, one of my bathing suits to not dry fully and then me like wearing a very cold bathing suit out to the pool and you know, you don't wanna have that. This is the first bathing suit top I'm bringing. This is one of my favorites. It's so cute, I love the colors. This is one of my faves. This bathing suit top, it's really fringy. I absolutely love it, it's just basic. Two bottoms, they look like this. They're bright yellow, I have some tassels and some really cute colors off them. And these bottoms that I again got at Liquidation World. That's where I usually get all my bathing suits is Liquidation World because when they do have sales, you can get bathing suits for like 50 cents, a dollar, and they're brand new. And these are the brand name Airy. Um, I love these so much. These are so cute with the ruffles. Next. I take all my cords and they're always so tangled which isn't good don't do that um there's probably a better way to store cords but I just suck at storing cords um I got my cell phone charger my camera charger um my usb cable for my camera and my camcorder uh, all that and I just shove these in I got a travel size um what is this shaving cream um, it's really good to have travel size things because shaving cream, you know, can be very, very big and the travel size ones are perfect and this will last you then and even more when you get back. Depends on how long you're going for. This is how much of makeup I'm taking. I'm taking just this basic makeup thing. If you want to know exactly what makeup I'm taking, I'm taking exactly what I wear for my everyday makeup tutorial, what I'm wearing right now. Um, my everyday makeup tutorial, I'll put in the description box down below so you can check it out. The only thing different than what I'm taking that's in there are these two things. Oh, and one more thing. Maybelline Fit Me Powder, because as you guys know, I'm allowed to wear powder now on my face. Um, and then I'm taking my Physician's Formula Rosy Glow Shimmer. It's basically for a highlight. Um, this Sally Girl eyeshadow. It's really cute. I love the color. Look at that there. Um, this one is in turquoise, and I want to just punch up my everyday... Why 
why is everything dropping? Um, my everyday makeup tutorial, maybe put a little blue in one day. Makeup brushes, I'm be taking my um, Sedona Lace brushes. I'm not getting paid to say this in any way, this is just what I'm actually bringing. Looks like this, and as you can see, there's not all Sedona Lace brushes. I put in a lot of my own Kirkland brushes, which are one of my favorites, and some e.l.f. brushes in there, but I am taking a lot of the Sedona, Sedona Lace brushes because I love them. And I'll put this in the description box down below. This is just a really good way to carry my brushes um, when traveling because it won't mess them up or anything and it really um, compacts them. Jewelry is next. As you guys know, I'm a jewelry fanatic, so it's hard for me to pick exactly what jewelry I'm going to be taking. But um, I like these little bags for my jewelry. It's basically just like cosmetic bags. But this one is just for my earrings. These cute hoops, these cute hoops, these plain cute hoops. These awesome hoops that my one of my subbies gave me my fuel box, and I love these. Oops, I'm not even showing them anymore. There we go. And then these cute guest earrings. A girl's gotta have some variety, right? And this is all my other jewelry. Bracelets, I got these two from Plato's Closet, this one from Claire's, and this one from Hello Bright Eyes Etsy site. Three rings, one from Stitches, one from Costa Blanca, or Costa Blanca, however you want to pronounce that, and this super cute one that I got from one of my subbies, I love this one. Just taking one necklace, and this is a Chanel inspired necklace, is one of my favorites. Hair things, um, now the hair dryer, hair straightener, or hair products and everything like that my mom takes because we all share, so she takes that in a separate bag. Yes, so I'm just taking my hair products, my teasing comb, brush doesn't fit in here but I'm just going to throw it in. Um, if I want to tease my hair one day, I'm bringing one of these travel size and in a plastic bag and this is just a um, big sexy hair. This one here that I got from one of my subbies. I got this one here that I wear a lot and this peacock one. I put all my toiletries always in a plastic bag um, that way so that um, you know you're washing your face it's wet and your towel is going to be wet and um, your face wash is going to be wet and instead of just putting them in your bag to get everything else wet I just put them in a plastic bag. So in here I throw my Cetaphil in here and my clean face towel. I put that separately in there and then I have this little thing full of toiletries. Toothpaste, toothbrush, aura brush and I got my tongue foam for the aura brush as well. Not being paid to say that, that's what I'm actually taking. Razor, this is a shit Quattro, Hydro, whatever the heck. Whoa, ha, ba. This is my prescription cream. I'm covering up my prescription there because it says like where I get it, who I am, and everything like that. Floss and a travel size mouthwash. I love these things. Again, travel size is one of my favorites. This, what is this? These are soft picks, and these are amazing for your tea toothpicks. And it comes with this little travel size container, so you can stick them in there. So this is what's in my bag. Um, it's not that much stuff, I don't think, I hope. And then we take an empty luggage bag type thing so that we can fill it with stuff that we buy there. And then I take my car bag. My car bag looks like this, and when I say car bag, um, we're gonna be on the road for a very, very long time. Like I said, a total of 30 hours, so instead of getting bored, I can use my car bag. I have my camera. I have two books. Um, the first book I'm halfway done reading. This is Boy Proof. I love this book. And then I want to get on the bandwagon and read this because everybody else is reading it and they love it. And I love books. I'm always reading. So this one looks very interesting, to say the least. This is Fifty Shades of Grey. You guys have probably heard about it. Um, it was sold out pretty well all in my bookstore and I was on a mission to find this and I finally did. So I got that. I bring a notebook. This is an empty notebook. Um, I'm always, always writing. So this one's going to be for our trip. I write pretty well anything, poems, stories, um, what we're doing, what I see on the trip, pictures. Um, if, if we go and eat somewhere good, I'll be like, oh, I love that food. So I'm going to take the receipt and put it in here. So it's kind of like a scrapbook, journal, diary, everything like that. Some Bath and Body Works sanitizer in I Love Cookie Dough. And I got this in my uh, PO box. And I love this. And then some Kleenexes. My computer, and then I bring my purse. I'm gonna be. This is what I'm pretty well gonna be using the whole time because we're gonna be shopping the whole time. I'm not gonna go into too much detail with this. I'm bringing my uh, cosmetic bag, and it's basically filled with mirror and a whole bunch of lip products. Basically, um, my Max Saint Germain and a bunch of lip glosses. My wallet, my coin purse, cell phone, gum, sunglasses smelling breath, gooders, and my passport. That's about it. Um, I should show you my passport photo, actually. There is my passport photo. Look at me. So yes, that's all I'm bringing. Um, if you guys want to see the trip, then I will be vlogging. It'll be in the description box down below my vlog channel. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.